Hello viewers, welcome to Elim TV, whereby we are going to learn and experience together. Today we are going to have our biology from 2 lesson 16, whereby your tutor will, me, will be me, uh, Mr. Gerard. We are going to uh, handle the topic on transport in uh, animals under the subtopic blood, the blood clotting process. Uh, before that, we are going to have the following lesson goal, whereby by the end of the lesson, you should be able to explain the blood clotting process. So let us begin on the lesson and we follow up because uh, you will be required to you explain the whole process. Um, and now start explaining the blood clotting process whereby we can uh, say the process of clotting involves a series of complex reactions where the soluble blood protein is converted into a mass of tangled threads of insoluble protein. This process begins when blood vessels are damaged. When blood vessels are injured, the platelets exposed to air, uh, we can have a diagrammatic representation on the platelets. The platelets exposed to air rupture, releasing a uh, thromboplastin, also called uh, enzyme thrombokinase, which initiate the clotting process. We can have, uh, um, we can have I am explaining whatever now you are seeing on the screen. Um, we have said that uh, when blood vessels, uh, the, when the platelets which are, are exposed to air rupture, they release thromboplastin, which is also known as thro uh, enzyme thrombokinase, which initiates the blood clotting process. Thromboplastin is also released by the damaged tissues. This enzyme thromboplastin is used to neutralize heparin, uh, whereby the function of heparin, this is an anti-clotting factor, and it is used to activate conversion of prothrombin to thrombin. This process required calcium ions, and as you can see from our diagram, we have also the calcium ions. Um, thrombin activates the conversion of the soluble plasma protein fibrinogen to its insoluble form fibrin. Fibrin forms a meshwork uh, of fibers on the cut surface trapping red blood cells to form a clot. Uh, as you can see, this, uh, our diagrammatic representation of our screen is trying to summarize the blood clotting uh, process. So I'm just explaining whatever you are seeing on our screen. When the clot dries up, it forms a scab that stops the bleeding and prevents entry of microorganisms. The clotting reduces loss of blood when blood vessels are injured. But before we go to that deep, we have got uh, the human smear here whereby we are this one represents uh, before the blood vessels are injured. So after they are uh, the injured, that is wh wh whereby we go to the blood clotting process. Clotting reduces loss of blood when blood vessels are injured. Excessive loss of blood, especially more than 2 liters, can lead to severe anemia unless uh, corrected immediately by blood transfusion. It is important to note that fibrinogen is only changed to, to fibrin when blood vessels are injured. That is a um, very important point to remember where we say that it is very important to note that fibrinogen is only changed to fibrin when blood vessels are injured. Otherwise, if this happens in vessels that are not injured, it would block up the blood vessels leading to death. However, in undamaged vessels, blood does not contain thrombin but it's in active form called prothrombin. So the uh, inactive form of pro prothrombin, we are saying that um, is um, that is the inactive form of uh, thrombin is prothrombin. And remember, we have said that this one it must be activated once the blood vessels is injured to its the act to its active form, which is the thrombin. And damaged blood vessels contain heparin, which prevents conversion of prothrombin to thrombin. And uh, also another function of uh, heparin is that it is used to neutralize any thrombin which may be formed accidentally. Uh, formation of pro prothrombin requires uh, vitamin K. So it is advisable that you be taking uh, vitamin K in our bodies because it will help uh, in formation of pro prothrombin whereby it will help uh, once um, we get injured by, uh, by any chance. Having done and said that, we can have the following activity whereby you will be required to explain the blood clotting process in the uh, in human beings. Uh, to get um, for more reference, you can refer to KLB, which is 2017 Secondary Biology Students Book One, uh, fourth edition. 
Nairobi, Kenya Literature Bureau. And to have um, this lesson and many, for, uh, many more of our biology lessons, you can send us an SMS on the number that is appearing on our screen, or you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is uh, Elimu TV, or you send us a message on our Facebook page, which is also Elimu TV, or you tweet us at Elimu TV underscore Kenya. Uh, let us subscribe to these channels so that we may get uh, many more lessons. Uh, thank you.